and welcome to my presentation on differentiated instruction in applied behavioral analysis. So my current position is a registered behavior technician in which I provide direct one-on-one -on -one behavior therapy services under the supervision of a BCBA to children who are diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder and other varying diagnoses including intellectual and or developmental disabilities, learning disabilities, or social emotional disabilities. My detailed plan for this specific project is the comprehensive approach will concentrate on having students finish a writing assignment more independently. With self-directed learning, students will take charge of their education and foster an environment that supports their productivity. To teach them a writing talent that they may utilize for the duration of their academic careers, I want to take advantage of their interests and readiness levels. So my plan and rationale for differentiated instruction. So children learn well in different ways and seem to profit most when instruction is differentiated in some manner to accommodate these differences. When a teacher knows what each of their students knows and how they learn, they can tailor lessons to better fit their knowledge levels and learning styles. Um, below, we can find getting to know students through learner snapshots and student self-descriptions um, in the graphic or uh, organizers below. Um, so the pre-learning activity, also known as pre-active, um, engagement is a non-negotiable of teaching and learning. Students are more likely to remain engaged in class if they have an interest in the subject matter. To complete the pre-learning task, students must investigate a pet they would like to have at home and complete one of three graphic organizers that, we, that were made according to readiness level. Um, the first being a graphic organizer for um, a learner who may be on more on the struggling side. And then... Uh, uh, this is more of a graphic organizer for an average learner. Um, an advanced learner's graphic organizer. Um, pet type goes in the middle. They must list at least four characteristics of the animal, three reasons they want it, supplies needed, two things they might need assistance with, three things they will do to care for it, and two reasons their family should consider getting this type of pet. Um, so during, during the learning activity, which is also known as interactive, students will practice writing in a descriptive manner as part of this interactive assignment. They have never before expressed their needs and wants in writing, although they are all quite skilled at doing it orally or visually, both a proper paragraph written at an average ability level with all necessary elements as outlined by a checklist and a paragraph that om omitted material will have been provided by the teacher. In a whole group instruction situation, the students will highlight what was written off, what was written effectively, and what was lacking. The post learning activity, um, also known as the reflective, um, the post learning activity has asked the students to write their descriptive paragraphs. Um, this activity reflects differentiated instruction in that questions are added to the average and advanced learner levels to make them outside of their re outside of their research. There is also required there's also more required of the two higher levels in terms of punctuation and spelling. I chose this activity because the goal of the lessons is a written or type summary of complete sentences on a pet of the students choosing. So content, process and product. Um, content is the what we teach, process is the how we teach. And the product is the way we show what we have learned. I have tailored this teaching lessons con content, methodology, and end result based on the student's readiness level. In my classroom, students are divided into three levels, and while they are using different resources, they are all working toward the same objective, which is writing a descriptive paragraph. Some strategies for differ differentiate instruction. So according to Simon and Stragel, um, exit tickets as assist students in looking back on what they have learned and how they are feeling about the new material. After the students have finished their written or typed paragraphs, the second task will be, will be finished. To help the students develop a visual project about the animal they chose to, that the animal they choose to research and write about, I will form in interest groups that they can join. This exercise addresses the needs of the learner and the relevant field. To the class, they will showcase their work. And this is an example of an exit card. Um, some future goals is um, giving students as much responsibility with their learning as possible. My students are not ca incapable of completing autonomous work just because they operate in various ways. Um, finishing off the tiering exercises with my class, a student can work with the essential content at an appropriate level of challenge through successful tiered instruction. 
uh, create original assignments that my students can do for their lessons. I believe that when it comes to teaching, I do a good job at differentiating both the subject and the method, but I don't always end up with a fun outcome. It is essential for cognitive connections to, to allow students to approach work according to the option that makes the most sense to them. Summary. So as educators, we must remember that disting distinguishing is a process that takes time to master and is a talent that must be that must be mastered. It requires effort and time. For me, it gets easier the more I diversify diversif more the more I diversify my lessons content, methodology and end results. I want to emphasize to my colleagues that designing courses and activities that progress toward higher order thinking is what differentiates them. Students are not being assigned more or less work as a result. To increase in achievement, we wish to build on the skills and information people already possess. Differentiation includes a number of aspects of the learning environment in the classroom. In order to provide activities that differ in content process and final output, and to teach up rather than water down content, um, for all learners, we are evaluating um, students, readiness levels, interest levels, and learning profiles. And obviously the last slide we have here is all of my references um, supporting all of my work. Thank you.